Well, thanks, Hannah. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Tour's going well? Tour's going great so far, yeah. So this is like the first big headline tour for you. It is. It's really exciting to have to, to finally be doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After after a long time of, of doing the opening things with the EP, and then you finally now have a your first record. Yeah. An album. Yeah, totally. How does it, it feel? It feels great. It feels really, really great. I'm, I've, you know, I made the record last uh, last summer, and it was kind of shelved for a little bit for me to, because we were just waiting for this point to release it, and mm -hmm. so now to have it out, it's just like a relief, and it's also like finally my fans get to hear it, and 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 I'm not the only one listening to it. Right. So yeah, nice. When you came by the studio last time. I, I didn't know who you were. You just came by, and I was like, "Oh, you should play a song too." Yeah. And so I thought you were this acoustic artist, singer, songwriter, and then I hear this record, and it's like there are noises <laughs> coming from every direction. There's kids singing on it. There's mm -hmm. like 8-bit keyboards. There's mm -hmm. that's not you at all. What I, what I what my original perception was not correct. Well, I'm or is full it? of surprises. Or is it? Uh, it's well, it, it is. You, I, we met, and I was doing playing my guitar, and it was just kind of me, and and my instrument, and. Just, you know, playing with Jeremy, and I guess you still have the same deal. If I were to come play for you right now, you'd right. probably hear something similar, but it's just nice to have, like, a full record to really, like, show what I can do and, and, and what I really want to, to show my fans, and and my songs come to life in a, in a new light, so... It comes to life in very different... There's a cabaret tune on there. There is. What, yeah. what was the inspiration for that? Uh, well, it was just that song I, I wrote with um, a good friend of mine. He just sent me this ukulele little riff, and I took it and, and wrote the song, and it just felt like that, you know, it had that, that feeling behind it, just this, like, really mellow, cabaret, jazz, love song about a crush vibe. <laughs> Fair enough. A lot of love songs. I was reading the bio. It says you, you write about language in your bio. Well, what does that mean? I write about language. Yeah. Well, I, 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 if my music's heavily based on, you know, what I say and, and lyrics, and, and I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And as for language, it's, it's uh, a lot. My music is a way of communicating how I feel, and, mm. and it's very personal for me. So I guess language is a way to describe it. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, topic of language, um, bang, bang, you're dead, you're saying shh instead of shit. Right. I don't know if it's like on the record or if it's just the radio edit that I happen to be hear hearing, but talk about censorship and, and, and how why you wrote it that way, because it's a cool way of doing it, mm -hmm. but it's not saying the word that you mean to say. Right. There wasn't too much, like, thought in beside. I didn't want to say the word shit. I wanted to say shh, and I think it's just a little cheeky song. It's, mm -hmm. it's a song that's inspired by you know, a high school relation, high school relationships with with friends and miscommunication, and it's it's like really playing on the fact about being cheeky and, and immature, and and I guess I'm just sh saying that because I'm being cheeky and. You don't want to swear in front of the kids while they're in the studio. Yeah, and, with I, you. and I had kids come into the studio with me, so <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't swear. How'd you get the kids? I heard you're like a mentor for for I, musicians or something. Yeah, I, I had the opportunity to do that, but the the kids. Uh, I used to work at an after school care program, and I made that part of an out trip to come down to the studio while I was in making the record, and I had them come down and and sing some gang vocals and. Nice. So it was really cool to have them be part of it song like that and, and chit chat to a degree too have this outsider feeling almost mm -hmm. an outsider feeling and that's like that you're an outsider you're on the outside of something right yeah well chit chats like that that song's inspired by a conversation um with somebody and it, it felt like i was very much on the outside of that conversation mm -hmm. and and feeling like i didn't know how to communicate with that person and and feeling like that person didn't really want to communicate with me just more like wanted to talk at me so Fair enough. Yeah. Going through songs on the record, of course, the big one with the video, mm -hmm. Thick Skin. Mm -hmm. How does that come about? And uh, how comfortable was that for you? That, well, the, the, the video came about, um, the director, Sean Weinstein, approached me with this treatment and, and asked, well, just presented this idea of me, you know, crawling through crazy terrain in the mud and, and trying to, to, to progress through these different worlds and out through this tunnel into the to the air and and I just thought when I first was found out that okay he wanted me to be naked it was like whoa this is 
pretty intense, but I felt that his idea and what I'm, it, his idea about this and, and, and my song just, it just worked so well together and it really, it was a good interpretation of how I feel and what I was trying to say in the song, so. When you, when you see this video, you, you'll think artistic direction or is it a, an easy way to get those YouTube clicks, right? No, not, not at, at all. all. <laughs> no, no, it's just, the, it's just a, a good bonus, idea. It's just a bonus that comes from it all? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> well, it was just, it was just felt like it was a good idea and so I went with it. I wasn't really thinking, I, I wasn't thinking at all about how many people are going to you know, how many views can I get on YouTube? Right. Has it brought out the creeps though? I would think it would bring out some, some creepy people to shows and be like, oh, well, there she is. <laughs> Not that I've uh, witnessed yet. I haven't had any creepers. Well, that's good. So I'm lucky. Yeah. But I don't know. Hope, hopefully that it will it will stay that way. We'll switch topics all together okay. then for creepers. <laughs> to, to, a, to a friend of the shows and a friend of yours, Tyler Bancroft from Set the Whale, who, who guests on the record. And yep. I hear you're going to, on a big bike tour this summer with everybody. And yes making a super group of sorts? Totally, yeah. Uh, Jeremy Fisher came up with this idea of having us all, said the whale, eight and nine myself, uh, get together and ride our bikes from venue to venue uh, on Vancouver Island and, uh, and Vancouver and just, yeah, create this big group of us. We we're gonna play a set all together as one, like just play each other's music and, and have two hours of music for for people to come see and and so I really thought fun. it was a spectacular idea and I'm looking forward to it. Should be a little easier. I heard your ba your van broke down the other day, so that will eliminate that problem. No yeah, I think shows. It, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to to having my own space. So that's one thing <laughs> that I really gonna wish when you're on tour in a van, cramped in a van all the time, you can't really get out and exercise and run around. There's not really much time to do that. So this will be really interesting and hopefully I'll. I'll, I'll love it, and I think I will. For sure, well, I'm sure you will. Yeah. I'm sure you will. Are you gonna make up that show in Lethbridge, or? For I to yeah, do I really, really, really want to. I I'm heading back out to Edmonton for Lilith Fair, mm -hmm. and so the plan is to play Lethbridge again. So I I really hope that that will happen. Nice. Well, hopefully we'll see you soon. Yes. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you.